Hey guys, I've just picked up these Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Collector Card Packs. We've got the folder, which also comes with three packs of card and one limited edition card. And then this starter pack, which has got like five packs of card and a limited edition card included. These are about £8 each, so it's £15 just for these. Which is a bit expensive, like back in my day. Collector card packets were like 50p a pack. But these must be more than that individually, if it's £8 for five of them. See a cool T-Rex design. That collector card there is from Fallen Kingdom. See at the bottom here, it's got the logos from all of the movies. I guess Camp Cretaceous isn't included though, which is a shame. When you take them out of the cling film, it's just a bit of cardboard that these are all stuck on the back there. So you pull them off and it's a shame that it's, uh, the glue ends up kind of ripping the picture on the back but it's where it's all stuck on you can't really get them off without leaving a sticky mark or ripping it a bit but this set's made by Panini which is quite well known for doing these kind of things collector cards and sticker albums I've actually got a few sticker albums from the previous movies And this is what the front and back of the card packs look like. You can see where the T-Rex body goes around the back. So if you put them together like this, you kind of get a more complete looking T-Rex. So that's where the body of the T-Rex kind of goes around. If you see what I mean. And it says, oh, it's the celebration collection featuring all six movies. The 30th anniversary Lego up here that we've seen on quite a few products this year, including the toys. Each pack comes with six cards, so I've got quite a few here to go through. And it's a selection of different things. You've got photographs from the movies, you've got drawings, some really nice artwork actually on some of them. We've got more cartoony looking artwork, like on these ones. There's some comic book looking artwork. Some photographs of dinosaurs and the human characters, kind of promotional images. It's a nice selection of different types of cards here. Kind of a pop art thing there. So I really like the artwork on some of these. You've got a comic book looking design there, some cartoony looking ones there. Nice drawing of the Dilophosaurus. And that's kind of a pop art design. The T-Rex is there. And then the backs of the card all have Jurassic World on rather than Jurassic Park, but they have different colours. Like some red and black seems to be the main bulk of colours there. But I thought that it had Jurassic Park rather than Jurassic World on the back. I thought maybe it was going to be whatever movie the picture is based on would have that film's logo on the back, but actually they all have Jurassic World on. In eight packs of cards, I only got these five doubles, so that's not too bad. This is very reflective, so I'm trying not to get myself in the reflection there because it's kind of uh, making it hard to film the picture. But it's just a picture of the T-Rex there. But this is a really cheap feeling folder. It's like a soft plastic there. It's not a hard cardboard folder, which I was a bit disappointed with, actually. And uh, if you open it up, the cover is just a, a thin bit of cardboard that's been kind of slipped in there with a checklist of all the cards inside. So I like that, but I do wish this was a harder plastic or a, you know, a thick cardboard folder rather than a flimsy plastic one. There's a bit of uh, paper here just advertising and you can buy a big pack of them, a box of cards there if you want to. I think you get money off with this or whatever if you put that code in if anyone wants it. Yeah, there's the code if you want to put that in and you can get some money off buying a big box of the cards. 10% off. But yeah, basically you just slide all the cards in here, which I'm going to do and try and put them in some kind of numerical order and then I'll show it to you. This is going to take quite a while going through all these cards and putting them in numerical order and then putting them in the folder in the correct spaces. I've put all the cards in here and the cards go back to back. So in each little pouch for a card, you put two cards in there, the one that's facing this way and then the one that faces forward on the other side, if you see what I mean. I won't go through all of them, but I'll just show you some of my favourites. It describes these as the coolest moments from the film. And then, you know, some of them are the other way up like that, the T-Rex. 
The T-Rex escaping in the first film is my favourite moment from any of the movies. It's always like seeing different artistic interpretations of that in comics and collector cards. But the different colour backs are based on the numbering. So every 10 that it goes up, the colour of the back is different. That's quite a nice looking one. There are loads of extra sleeves at the back here, so I don't know if they plan on maybe releasing more cards in future that aren't listed yet. I can't focus in any closer than this really, but it does show you every card in the set. So it helps you to know how to lay them out in the folder, like what pouches to put them in. This one here in particular looks great. It looks like a comic book cover if you get all those cards. So I'd love to complete that one. I don't know if it actually is a comic book cover from the past because it says Jurassic Park 10 years. So I don't know if there was some kind of 10 year anniversary comic that I'm not aware of released that had that cover. This Panini set isn't the first set of collector cards I have from Jurassic Park. All the original Kenner toys came with these cards, which I absolutely love the artwork on these. Some of them depict scenes from the movies and some of them are made up scenarios. Like this is actually what we did see eventually in Dominion with uh, Alan coming across the Dimetrodon. Got a Dilophosaurus attacking Ian Malcolm. Velociraptor going after Alan and Ellie. Pteranodon flying over. I really love the artwork in these. I wish the new JP30 T-Rex had come with a collector card like this. Ellie about to shoot a Triceratops in the face with a grapple gun. So there's the Dilophosaurus attacking Dennis Nedry from the film. And the T-Rex escaping. Once again a lovely bit of artwork depicting my favourite scene. And I love how it's the Red Rex from the toy line. And then these are those cards that came with the Mattel toys, which had some quite nice artwork, a bit more cartoony looking. I still kind of like these, I think it's a shame they're not included anymore. And I do have a few cards from the original 1993 collector card set. I think these were made by Tops though and not Panini, but I only got one set of these. I've never really been into collecting cards and stickers much. And this is the original Jurassic Park sticker album from 1993 from Tops. Got one for Fallen Kingdom that came out in 2018. That's a Panini one. And then the Merlin sticker album for The Lost World. This isn't a bad set really, but I am a bit disappointed with this flimsy folder. Like the, the folder just feels really cheap. I don't like that. But otherwise, it's a nice set. The cards themselves are nice designs. I got this from WH Smiths. I'm not sure if smaller news agents are going to sell these or not. In the individual packets, at least. I'm also not sure where it's available outside the UK either. It may just be a UK and possibly Europe thing at the minute. If you've got any more questions about this set, anything that I didn't cover, then leave me a comment and I'll try and answer it. Or I'll post something with photographs. If uh, there's anything anyone needs to know about this set, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.